Welcome back to another Numbers on the Board YouTube exclusive. Last week, we went through the Atlantic Division to give y'all our favorite memories from those teams. Well, today, we got the Central. And the NBA goes to the Central Division, if you ask me. Shout out to my Chicago Bulls. Somebody throw out a team in their uh, favorite memory. The Detroit Pistons was one of the teams that uh, came to mind a little bit. And it was more so for the Blake Griffin one-legged performance against the Bucks, willing them to that one game on a bad meniscus when he didn't even have to play. And somehow or another, that man was so good that on one bad knee, he was able to get them a damn win mm -hmm. when that franchise didn't really have much to look forward to. Yeah, that was a good one. I, I was thinking about the Blake Griffin season at whole. Like, that was just one of the most fun reasons to uh, seasons to live through. Because nobody thought it was over for Blake Griffin when he yeah. got traded to, to the Pistons. But, like, people thought it was on the decline. And then he basically just has a career year. Detroit gets a playoff series out of it, and then obviously they lose because he gets injured and everything. But that was that was a great one. Another one I thought of is like I think about this picture all the time, where it is Drummond, Greg Monroe, and Josh Smith as oh the starting God. three through five, and it's like what the hell were we doing back then? That that is a three through five. No no spacing, no three point shooting, just straight up bad vibes. Just clunky, nasty, <laughs> or. When Van Gundy was in charge and he was trying to save his job, he gave John Lure all that damn money. money yeah. John Lure got a bag just because he was trying to save his job. My Van Gundy was a terrible GM. <laughs> yeah. Did you? My, my favorite Pistons moment is uh, Tayshawn Prince chased down on uh, Reggie, Miller. Reggie Miller. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good one. Sent him to the NBA Finals. Yeah. Underrated because nobody remembers that unless it, you were like there for it. It just goes to beating the Lakers. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> I had the same one for the Pistons was basically the game one for that Blake or for Blake Griffin. So I'll throw out another team. I'll go with the Chicago Bulls. One of my favorite memories, and I probably I'm not gonna put Derrick Rose in this because that's that's everybody's. Right. But probably that stretch where it was Nate Rob like Nate Robinson was getting a lot of minutes. I think Derrick Rose was out and they went on a really good stretch. I think this was even when they took out the they ended the Miami streak mm -hmm. with Nate Robinson in that lineup and that's he was exactly going crazy. Where I was going to. They ended that twenty-seven, like that twenty-seven plus game win streak from the yeah. Miami Heat, and Nate Robinson was out there just hooping. Yeah. Nate Robinson was so fun to watch in Chicago because he just had the ultimate green light. That offense was so stinky that like he was like the only hope of that offense. I remember running. when the games was close and you knew like you want to hold the ball, slow it down a little bit. We'd be like, no, Nate, because he's rushing to take a shot. Yeah, from this current era, because I could I could go through every era of Bulls history. You know what I'm saying? Um, my favorite moment is the Zach Levine shot against the Hornets, just because the commentary from Eric Collis is so great. Yeah. When they get the steal, he hits the shot. And I didn't, we didn't even watch the game live because we were all together for Friendsgiving or something. Yeah. And I remember just checking Twitter, like, what the hell happened? And it's Zach Levine with the steal. Oh, Tomas Sadoransky, shout out to him. If he don't hit that first shot, none of this, ma none of this matters. Tomas is a shot. They get the steal. Underrated NBA player. <laughs> I, I liked him when he was playing. With, with, with the Wizards specifically. Yeah. When six, he got to Chicago, it was like, oh. Six, seven, yeah. Um, but, yeah, he hit that shot. And then all, all, my own memory is going to be like, Kobe White loves when his teammates does great things. He was so damn hype. Yeah. And now he's the one hitting big shots. Shout out to Kobe White. Uh, another moment for me was John Lucas III was cooking the Miami Heat so, ba so bad that LeBron James decided that I need to guard him because <laughs> nobody else do it. Yeah. And – you know, it was just fun seeing those little guards coming there and always be that jolt. When I went to uh, Bulls versus Timberwolves when Derrick Rose was first came back in Chicago as a Wool, um, John Lucas III was on the coaching staff of the Timberwolves, oh, yeah. and I was sitting pretty close to the bench. Somebody behind me was like, John Lucas, we love you. And he, was, he looked back and he was like, <laughs> and I, I'll never forget John Lucas giving that thumbs up, man, to that one fan. His hair was bald. <laughs> he was definitely bald. <laughs> or bald. He had a little bit here. Like, he had forgot to shave for the last week or so, but ball, ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of Bulls memories for sure. Yeah, it's so Historical many. franchise. I love the John Salmon uh, little runs that they had. I love the early Bulls right before Derrick Rose came. Black socks, black shoes, playoffs against the Wizards, the Miami Heat. Those are some of my favorite moments. The Celtics series. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks, it's kind of hard not to go with the 50-plus game to close out the championship win. Oh, Jimmy Butler against the six, Sixers. Oh, Second one, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy has Jimmy has some big games when he was with the Bulls. Um, but the Bucks, that fifty plus, that fifty fifty point game from Giannis shooting damn near perfect from the free throw line, closing it out after hyper extending his knee when we didn't even know he was gonna play. Yeah, and it's just one. It's a crazy way to close out a championship run. 
Yeah, that's a, that's the one for me. Is mostly the pass from Drew Holiday to Giannis. Yeah, one of the ballsiest passes you can make in that moment, and it worked out. Again, Giannis hyperextending that knee not yeah. too long before that, and going out there and winning that championship after being down 0-2. I, you know, I was rooted for Chris Paul in that series, so they was up by 2-0. Two, two I'm like, let's go. But I couldn't help but by the end of it being like, damn, I'm so happy for Giannis. Yes. Yeah. To I win like four how- straight at the being now too is so impressive. Yeah. I love the antics from what we get from, like, the Bucks and Giannis. Like, the whole Patriots thing where now it's starting to be, like, a little rival with Bruin. I remember not too long ago when it was, like, Montrez Harrell trying to take the ball away from Giannis. As he was doing the, the ladder. Yeah, the yeah ladder, he was so. doing the free throws and stuff like that. So it's just – that's probably the – my favorite one was probably going to be the Pacers one because it kind of brewed the rivalry. I like that. I like Derrick Rose game winner mm-hmm. um, against them. And uh, Bucks and six. Shout out to <laughs> Brandon Jennings, man. Bucks and, to this day. Bucks and six. To this <laughs> day, they still screaming Bucks and six. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, obviously so you could go come LeBron, back. The Kyrie yeah. shot. I'm thinking of LeBron shot versus the Wizards. I was thinking of LeBron shots versus the Magic. Oh, the backboard? Yeah. Because it was just so improbable yeah. for that shot to go win. That was like, like I'm playing around type shot. Yeah, man. The one against the Magic was crazy, too. Yeah. Top yeah. of the three. Yes. Catch Top and shoot. The, yeah, that was. Or, I mean, it can just all be Bron moments when oh, he scored 20-plus sure. points in a row against it's the a, Pistons. Yeah. Like, that's another one. Uh, from this current regime, maybe my least favorite and favorite is watching Donovan Mitchell drop 70 on my favorite team. Oh, yeah, yeah. That did happen that night. I was actually damn the room for him to get eight. Where Jared were, Allen saying, <laughs> saying the light's too bright for him. <laughs> oh, Jared Allen. That was He's crazy. crazy. Yeah. I, I still can't believe he came to the podium and said that. At least he was honest. <laughs> he, was con- he was candid with it. <laughs> and lastly, we got the Indiana Pacers. Paul George over Bird, man. Yeah, that's not yeah. bad. That's not bad just at that's, all. Bro, I just need to relive that moment. It's just that Heat series again. I just need to rewatch it and relive it. And at half court. Yeah. Or uh, it's so crazy. LeBron really gamed him on traveling to the basket. Like that mm. that series goes different if the refs just call it travel. But it's LeBron, so they're not gonna call it. And that, it's the end of the game. Yeah, that man caught the ball at the top of the key and ran to the basket without dribbling. I think he took a dribble. No, I don't think he did. One That's of my bad. favorite I, I, I'm gonna pull it up. That's bad. One of my favorite moments <laughs> no. though is when Paul George catches the ball. He's like, hold on, hold on. From half court. Oh, then he oh, shoots yeah. it. He thought the he thought the shot clock was gonna hey, reset. Next, and time, next time we hooping, that's the move I'm pulling out. Bro, that Paul George got a lot of cold moments in his career. Yes. That's towards the top of yes, the list. Bro. He, Just, he, the dunk with the Clippers against the Clippers. When he 360 windmill. Oh, and, and he oh, did yeah. it, he it in the half court too, right? Man, literally dribbled. Oh, he did? Yeah. I, I don't know why. I remember him not dribbling. I'm going to have to steal yours, the Paul George. Wait, I, I got this so. moment. Because he's holding the ball like it's a football for a second. He's like, hold on, bro. I see somebody. Relax. Somebody was trying to recreate that at the gym. They had a TikTok of it. And dude did it. He's like, they think he Paul George. He hit all backboard on the shot. Kind of is Paul George <laughs> in a way. Well, Paul George hit it. I'm talking about future him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Future him. Oh. He did it. He didn't. Well, how about all the Luis Scola minutes? Oh. That's my favorite thing. Luis Scola playing in Indiana. Luis Scola cool. plays the ball at such a fundamental rate, but he's so damn. He was so damn. He's still good cooking at. to this yeah. day. He's forty something, still cooking. Nice haircut. Yeah. Hey, we played the game. The never right played way. above the rim. Never, never. You let us know in the comment section Make with your Scola build. Nah. <laughs> Too slow. Too slow for me. Let us know what your favorite moment is from all the teams in the Central Division. We'll be back next week with another one. Peace.